In the world of solution selling, the salesperson is asking customers not only to buy their product, but to also change their behavior. To make that happen, they must make customers think differently about how they operate. It's an area where challengers excel and relationship builders fail. Now, the wrong conclusion from all of this is that relationships don't matter to sales anymore. They absolutely do. In fact, we know statistically that challengers actually minor in relationship building. They're the second best relationship builders of the five profiles. But the relationship builder sees the relationship as a, an end unto itself. The challenger sees the relationship as a means to an end. And that end is to deliver value to the customer. When I think about challengers and relationship builders, what I find is that they both want to do their best by the customer, but in very different ways. A relationship builder literally wants to build a relationship. They, they want to acquire trust and, and the relationship more than, more than anything else. And so I think that often we think that we're giving a good experience because we're building, we like, hey, we built a great relationship. This person loves me. I know all this stuff about them. So they must be having a great sales experience, but I haven't taught them anything interesting about their business. So I'm just regurgitating what they've already told me. That's actually not building a relationship. A challenger wants to build that relationship primarily by being useful. And what I mean by being useful is that they want to deliver a unique insight. Because of this, the challenger actually builds stronger relationships because they're based on business value and insight. 